Welcome back to Premier Finds. I hope that you're doing well. I wanted to share some of my skincare items with you. I have a couple of lines that are tried and true. I feel very strongly about them. So if you were considering getting into skincare or if you wanted to change things up a bit, let me share some things that I have enjoyed and have always been winners for me. The first thing I wanted to do was to share a brand called Tatcha. Some of you who are into makeup may know Tatcha by her primer. Uh, she has a primer that everyone is excited about. Really came into being a couple of years ago and uh, it was all the rage, but she has a very nice skincare line in general and I wanted to share that with you. First of all, their signature color is purple, which is really nice. Tatcha is a brand that model their skincare after the geisha women of uh, Japan. I always love their packaging. They do a very nice job with it. So what we have is a clean cleansing oil. That's the first thing that I like to enjoy. I'm going to pull them out one by one, but certainly wanted you to appreciate the nice presentation. Presentation matters to me. Whether it's for yourself or someone else, presentation is important. First thing is the cleansing oil. One of the things that I found, an issue that I was having with skincare, is that I was not cleansing properly. I think that we all get very busy throughout the day, and by the time the evening comes, we want to get the makeup off and get into bed. We want to be done with it. But I found when I started with a cleansing oil, and that kind of gets the initial, the first level of makeup off, if you will. That first level cleansing is really nice when you do that with the cleansing oil. This is very light. It is not heavy, but it certainly breaks down that makeup beautifully. So again, this is the cleansing oil. Let me interject here that you are always going to do better when you get a makeup line in a set. The price point increase, increases tremendously when you try to buy these items individually. So if you can, get a set. So in this set, it started with the cleansing oil. Tatcha then offers what they refer to as a rice polish, okay? And I'm gonna open that up for you and show you how that consistently consistency looks very fine that's their rice polish and you just dampen your hands with water pour that in move your hands together and you get that it's a next level cleaning so after the cleansing oil go straight in with your rice polish okay damp hands a nice little foaming deal will come on your face and then you just rinse that off, but it's very nice. So again, that's called their rice polish. They just do a beautiful job with their bottles too. Very pretty, uh, looks nice on the counter. This is not going to spill. If you tumble that over, that lid is very secure. And the other thing I like about Tasha, Tasha always sends this little golden spoon. And that goes to let us see how much product we're supposed to be using. I am the world's worst about utilizing too much product. More is not always more, less is more. It doesn't take all of that. When you are utilizing a high quality line, you don't need a whole bunch of product. So I like the way they offer this to help us out in terms of how much we should be using. The next thing I like with Pacha in this particular kit is their moisturizer. Another beautiful bottle, okay? I just wanna show you how rich and emollient. I don't know if you can appreciate that, but it goes on beautifully. When you have good skincare, a good product, you look forward to your skincare. That is beautiful, beautiful. Feels good. This is her moisturizer, okay? And she has several. This is called the Ageless Enriching Renewal Cream, and I love that, morning and night. And then lastly, gotta have an eye cream, gotta have an eye cream. Now, folks, let me tell you this. Before I got into skincare, I didn't go for the eye cream. I thought, hey, you can put that moisturizer right on up into your, you know, your lower eyeball or whatever, but there is a spot in your skincare for eye cream. The skin near your eye is very different than the other skin on your face. So you do want to make sure you are using something that is designed specifically for the under eye area. And here, the formula to me is a little richer than the moisturizer, a little more dense, and I love it. It is an absolute treat to put on my face at night, in the day, with some eye care. Now, 
I use the cleansing oil for me, the way I use it. I use the cleansing oil at night because 10, that's usually when you are getting off your makeup. And then in the morning, I start right in there with the rice polish and go from there. Take a peek at Tatcha. You can get Tatcha at Sephora, Sephora Ulta, Nordstrom. There are myriad of places you can get the line. I just wanted to share that it is well worth the investment. Yes, it is pricey. We do what we do, right? Skincare can be pricey. This is a very nice line and they have items that you can interject within these four steps that may be beneficial. So for example, if you like your line and you just want to try a cleansing oil, maybe you are using a foam type wash, try a cleansing oil, then go ahead and buy it separately. If you are enjoying what you already are using, if you're using um, Lemur or Sunday Riley and you just wanna try something different, I'll recommend Tatcha. Okay, it's a very nice price point. So wanted to talk to you about Sunday Riley. As you can tell by now, I am not loyal to any particular brand. There are brands that I like to try. I like to try to change things up. The one thing I am consistent on though is thoroughly cleansing my skin. And I make sure I am taking care of it with a moisturizer. Sometimes I use a toner, making sure I use masks and things like that. Vendors or merchants or companies are always changing up the packaging. So this is just the way this particular package, the way it was presented. Sunday Riley is a newer brand. Okay. So this is all of her, her deal there. All right. Um, this one in particular came with a little Ziploc baggie. Depending upon the season and or promotion that is going on, you're gonna get different packaging, different colors, all of that jazz, okay? But they usually, all companies usually really do a good job. And with Valentine's or Galentine's coming up, Mother's Day, graduation, just consider that, okay? Wow, this is a big assortment. Sunday Riley is a newer brand in comparison to Tatcha. I think Tatcha was on the market or in the know beforehand. So I'm just gonna go through each of these items. The biggest thing, I think her top seller would be either the CEO and Good Jeans. So I wanna make sure I tell you exactly what each item is. So first thing you wanna start with in the Sunday Riley is the ceramic slip cleanser. Now, again, I just showed you the Tatcha a, a cleanser. Whatever line you decide to go with, you always have to start with a good cleanser, okay? So this is the ceramic slip cleanser. And then this particular kit offers the CEO Afterglow. It's a brightening serum. You've heard a lot about brightening serums uh, within the market of skincare. Very important, especially if you suffer from hyperpigmentation. I tend to suffer with a little of that. Just a couple of spots on my cheek, so a good, brightening vitamin C cream is important. Then she goes into the Good Jeans, and this is a lactic acid treatment. I am not a dermatologist or an esthetician, so I am being very careful, which is why I am reading this verbatim. Don't want to give the wrong information, but this is a all-in-one lactic acid treatment. We go into a gel, okay, of the brightening serum, and this has advanced vitamin C, which rapidly brightens the appearance of skin and boosts vital skin bounce. Beautifully done. Let me show you how her, her stuff looks too. You see this all the time, okay? I'm sure you've seen that. That's the way that looks. I'm gonna go back to the good jeans. Beautiful packaging, folks. All of these would look beautiful on your counter. From there, she goes into the auto-correct brightening and de-puffing eye contour cream. Remember I told you any good skincare line has some type of eye product and you don't put things on your eyes that you put in the rest of your body. The skin is thinner, okay? It has a different makeup, so it's gonna require different agent and that is the autocorrect, the under eye treatment. And then lastly, we have a retinoid. I'm sure you've heard about retinoid and niacinamide. Those are two big things. You're even finding those in your everyday makeup primers now but this is her retinoid serum. It's very beautifully done. Look at that. 
One thing I appreciate about this particular packaging, when you get an assortment like this, you can pick and choose what you need and then give the rest to someone else. For example, maybe you already have a good brightening serum, right? So just you, this, this assortment offers you the ability to break this up. There are six very nice gifts here. I think this retailed for about, I wanna say 250, and it was a promotion, it was on sale. But again, these are very nice, impressive gifts. If you buy them separately, you're probably looking at $400 plus. So always go for a kit if you can, it's gonna be a better buy and then you can break your kit up, okay? Those are two that I am enjoying. Tatcha, Sunday Riley, and then there's one more. And yes, I spent my own money on this stuff, so I'm coming from the heart here. The OG for me, Dr. Dines Skincare. I love her packaging. This was her anniversary edition packaging. It's so funny, when you see it on the counter, it looks like this, but when you open it up, I think this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Don't get caught up in the packaging, but I will say this. It's the Dr. Dines Hydro Shield Ultra Moisturizing Face Serum. Oh my goodness, I will never be without it. I love Dr. Adrian Dines. Phenomenal. I put it everywhere from the top of my head all the way down to the decollete. Get a lot of comments on the my collarbone and my decollete area. It's it's emollient, but even now, it is delightful. It is delightful. Ladies, you need to start using these products now. When we start wearing tank tops and things like that, it's too late to start taking care of that area in July or in May. Utilize these products, take them all the way down to your decollete so that you, when you're wearing these beautiful sundresses, our skin looks vibrant, it looks healthy and bright, okay? So here it is, I'm just going to finish up. When I use serums and I put it on my face or my decollete, Rub the rest of it into your hands. This stuff is not inexpensive. Use every single drop in between the fingers. Nothing goes to waste. This is the holiday edition packaging. The typical packaging is very similar to the box. It's a white bottle with blue writing. Polar opposite from this beautiful. And I got two of these because the packaging was a limited edition, but that presents nicely as well. And she does a lot. She might do something pretty again around Mother's Day. Uh, don't let this throw you if you can't get it. Been using this for 20 years. I love Dr. Dines. But again, I'm not opposed to trying other things. Just like makeup, I think that it's okay to introduce new skincare items into your routine just to see if something works differently and or better. Research changes every day, so there may be a line that you want to try. So again, just wanted to offer just those three lines. Those are the ones I am especially using. In terms of the Tatcha, I'm especially excited about the cleansing oil, Sunday Riley's Brightening Serum, my favorite item, and the autocorrect under eye, and then Dr. Dines's her facial serum. It's delightful. And now I'm gonna go to the outfit of the day. All right guys, outfit of the day. Went with these pants or just some black ones from Ann Taylor, coach belt. And then I went with a BB bodysuit, which I really enjoy. And then I broke out this oldie but goodie. This is an old find from Pretty Little Thing. And I really love it. It's very cold here today. It's gonna be cold all weekend. So I broke this out so that I could enjoy it this weekend. Feels really, really good. I would link it, but I think it's two seasons old and probably discontinued. Again, it's from Pretty Little Thing, so really a trendy item. It wasn't anything too terribly expensive. And then today, I think I'm gonna break out the quintessential Speedy Bantley A30 from Louis Vuitton. So I hope that you guys have a great day. Stay warm this weekend. I'll see you soon.